everyone, welcome back to my channel or welcome if you guys are new. In today's video, I wanted to talk about 10 products that I would like to use up in the new year. I did not expect to be able to film this video today. However, I am not at work today. My husband is not feeling well and it seems like he's contagious. And so I'm staying home until we know what's going on. And yeah, so I'm able to catch up on YouTube because luckily I do feel okay. He's sleeping, so I'm just kind of like leaving him be to get some rest. But I thought I would go ahead and kind of get caught up on my YouTube videos. The first product is one that I'm actually trying to finish up this year. I just don't know how realistic it is that I will get done with it. And it is the Misha BB Cream. It doesn't look like I have a lot in this. However, I felt that way about my Thrive Cosmetic CC Cream earlier this year. And it took me another month to use it up. And I kind of think that's what's going to happen with this one. So I went ahead and added it in. I love this BB Cream. But I've had it for a little while and it expires. This does expire next year, not until October. However, I just had it for a while. So I do want to go ahead and try to use it up. Sticking on the foundation realm, this is one that I don't know if I'd actually be able to use it up because I have a feeling when I start to use it consistently, I'm either going to fall in love with it and want to use it up or I might end up wanting to declutter it. I'm not sure, but this is the Rare Beauty Foundation. I have this in the shade 140C. With some days I really, really love this foundation and then other days it just doesn't really look good on me. And it's just annoying because I don't ever know when it's gonna look good and when it's gonna look bad. So maybe it's just something that I need to learn how to prep my skin for, but there are days when I really, really love how this looks. So that's kind of why I want to put it to the test next year versus just letting it sit in my collection and reaching for everything else over this. I do think I have used up a good amount of this. I want to say I've, I've probably used up 25% of it, so I still have a good amount to use up, maybe about right here, but you know, I just want to get some more use out of it in general, but it would actually be nice to use it up next year. I actually put three foundations in this project. It's just an idea. It's not actually going to be like the immediate products in my project pan, but I think it'd be nice to use up this Bare Minerals Original Foundation because I barely have any left. I've had it for about a year. And I feel like powders don't really go bad that quickly, but there's just barely any left. And I do really enjoy this in the winter months. And so I would actually like to finish this up pretty early on in 2022. And this is one that I would actually expect to show up in my project pan pretty early on, just because I do prefer it in the colder months. And it'd be something that I might consider picking up later next year when it gets cold again. The fourth product is this powder from e.l.f. This was such a bummer for me. I picked it up for my beginner makeup series, which I will be posting in that next episode soon. They just take a lot longer to edit. And with the Vlogmas, I just haven't had the time to edit a beginner video amongst all of the other videos. So I'm hoping to have at least one more episode by the end of the year, but it might not be until after Christmas. So I do apologize about that. But I picked this powder up for that series and I do really like it. However, I hit pan in this within like two or maybe three weeks of having it. So it's just not one that I want to keep around in my collection for a long time. So I want to go ahead and use it up and pick up a new pressed powder. So I did go ahead and put this one in this video to consider panning. The fifth product is the last face product. So this is like a cheek product, but this is the Flower Beauty Blush Balm in Nectar. This is the Flower Beauty Blush Balm that I have had for the longest. And I used to be in love with it and I used a lot of it up, especially not this spring, but last spring in 2020. I used it all the time and I really did enjoy it. So I wanna get some more use out of this. And this is something that I might work on panning again in the springtime because I just loved how this looked. I'll try and find the picture that I'm thinking of. I used to use like this and a lot of other products all together every single day. I was just so into this for about a month. And if I can find the picture, I will put it here. But yeah, I used it all the time and I saw that picture recently and I kind of want to use it again. So that's kind of what made me think to put that in this video. I do have one eye product and this is the Ulta Beauty Matte Eye Primer. This was a little sample that I got free with purchase from an Ulta Beauty order. And I just feel like it wouldn't really take that much time to use it up. So it's something that I would like to work my way through and see if I actually enjoy it or not. I've heard very, very mixed things about this and the face primer. I have a mini of that too which I could have put in this video, but I just decided to stick with the eye primer. I put four lip products in this video. Not to say, again, not to say these are gonna be like in my project pan right away, 
but these are just four lip products that I would really like to use up in my collection because I've got plenty and I just need to be working my way through some of them. The first one is this mini Rare Beauty lipstick. I have this in the shade Thankful. It's almost like one of those balmy kind of lipsticks and this is all that I have left and it's a mini so it's barely anything left but the shade of it is very pretty and it's super easy to wear. I just sometimes like don't think about wearing it but I think that this formula would be pretty easy to pan because it is a little bit more of like a glossy kind of lipstick so I feel like that's the kind of lipstick I should put in my project pans especially to get in the habit of project painting lipsticks, which brings me to the next one. This is the Fenty Beauty Slip Shine Lipstick in the shade Glazed. This is again, kind of a similar formula and I barely have any left of this either. So this is something I'm considering like using up as well, but maybe putting this in my purse or something and trying to use it up. I have used up all of that product. So like I said, there's just not very much left of this and I do enjoy it, but I feel like I will enjoy a lipstick for a really long time. Then I'll find a new one and I'll kind of forget about the one I was loving. So these are two, they have different colors, but they're pretty similar in texture. I even picked a third one that has a similar texture to that. This is the Tarte Quench Lip Rescue in Rose. And my friend actually gifted this to me for, like we did like a little like subscription box thing where we all like sent each other boxes of beauty, beauty products and that was a lot of fun but I'd never even heard of this product before she sent it to me and I really love it and I do think I'll put this in my project pan because again there's not a ton of product this one definitely has the most but it's also the most sheer product and with winter coming I think that this would be a good product to put in a project pan to remind myself to hydrate my lips because I do have really really dry lips and the 10th product that I would really like to completely use up in the new year is the ColourPop Lippy Stick. And this is in the shade Oh Snap. I've had this for quite a long time. I don't know when I got it and I honestly forget about it a lot. So this is something that I really like whenever I use it. And maybe it's just about time I try to use it up. But like I said, I do really like this lip product and this is it right here. So it's definitely the most opaque of all the products. I do have a good bit of product left in this one. This is a lot to me because I don't pan lipsticks very often. So I'm trying to make it a little bit easier on myself with the majority of these, with the exception of this Rare Beauty foundation. Everything is like over halfway finished up. And so I feel like that's kind of setting myself up for a good project pan. None of these are products that I think, except for the Misha BB cream, because I've already been working on it. But the majority of these products are not things that I think I would organically use up in the sense of I could have put in this lip liner from NYX, right? Because it's almost gone, but I already use it all the time. So I will use that up. Similarly, I could have put in a mascara or my Milani weekend brow, something that I already use every day and inevitably I will use it up. But all of these products are things that I sometimes have to remind myself to reach for, but that I did love them and I did use a lot of them and I still do enjoy them, but I just need to use them more. So I'm hoping that by sitting down and putting them all in this video, then when I go to do my project pan series next year, I can refer back to this one and get some ideas if I need them. But all right, guys, that's it for today's video. I hope that you enjoyed seeing 10 products that I would like to use up in the new year. I'm very excited for the project pan series to come back on my channel. I think it'll be a lot of fun. If you enjoyed today's video, please go ahead and give it a thumbs up and also subscribe to my channel if you want to see more Project Pan related content. I am actually about to film and later on this week post a video titled the 10 products I would like to hit pan on. So whereas I'd like to use all of these completely up, I have another 10 products that I would like to just hit pan on. These are all powder products and I think that these are going to be a little bit more challenging than the 10 we talked about today. So I would love to have you stick around for that video and I will see you tomorrow. Bye!